Hello everyone and welcome to .NET Core Central. In today's video, I am going to discuss about client streams in gRPC. So in my last three videos, I started with basic gRPC, then I discussed about server stream and then I went into discussing authentication in gRPC. I'll provide the link above. I'll strongly suggest you go through this video if you, this is the first video you are landing on because those videos walk through the basic implementation and I'm going to just build on top of those. In my first video, when I discussed the basic gRPC, I built this population provider, which is a simple application. From the server, it gives the count of population for a particular state. And on the client, we just get that population count for a particular state and print it out in console. And this is the proto file for that. It is very straightforward. The RPC method is get population. It takes population request which is state as a parameter and returns population response, which is the count. Now for client stream, the idea is instead of sending a single request, the client will send a stream of requests to the server. Now what are the use cases where we are going to use it? A common use case is when we are building a chat application, it is very handy. But apart from that also there are situations where the client might want to send a continuous stream of data. And how the server responds depends on obviously the business case. The server can respond as and when it gets our data from the stream or the server can wait for the entire stream to complete. And after the stream is completed, it can process and return a response. In this demo of the get population, what we are going to build is the client will send a continuous stream of data, but server will respond after it gathers all the data, which is basically all the states and then it aggregates the count of every state and send a single aggregated count back to the client. Now to do that, let's start with first updating the population profile on the client. So instead of a population request, it's going to send a stream of population request. And it's going to be very similar to how the server works where we added the keyword stream in front of the response. In case of client stream, we're going to add the stream in front of the request. So this is how we are going to define. And once this is done, of course, we'll have to change how the client call is made. And for that, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to create a in-memory list of states and write those states into the request stream. So now instead of sending one request, it will be a stream. So this code will not going to work anymore. And here, instead of getting a population response itself, you can see it is returning this method is returning a population request. So I'm going to change the name of the method. And also since this is a disposable type, I'm just going to add using in front of it so that it is disposed after the block. Now I'm going to do a for each and state in new and I'm going to pass the states here so these are the four states and here this is where I'm going to send the request stream or essentially write into the request stream. So I'll say population request dot request stream dot write async. And here you can see that the write takes the population request object. So I'll say new of population request. And here I'm going to pass the state is equal to the state from above and I will await on this one hence I'll change the main to have task okay so after I do that now that all the states are written into the request stream using the write async Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the, I'm going to make a complete call in the request stream. So to do that, I'll do 
population request dot request stream dot complete async so this will ensure that the stream is completed on the server or the server gets a call notifying that the stream is completed from the client and after that I'm going to get the response I'm going to population request dot response async and then finally I can do response dot count in the console so server is done and as you can see in terms of implementation now instead of sending a single request we are writing into the request stream a stream of state data once it is done now it is time to change the server implementation so for that I'm going to go to the server in server first I'm going to change the proto file so I will add the stream here also and once I add the stream you can see that this method has started giving error because this method doesn't exist anymore with the signature so I'm going to start from scratch so I'll say override so now you can see that the request object is not a population request anymore instead of a I async stream reader of population request and the server call context remains the same so I'm going to go ahead and delete this method okay so now this implementation also has to change so for this implementation what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a list which will have the population count and then finally I'll just do a, the sum of the count now to do that first I have to go through the request stream extract all the states from the stream and then finally I should just execute the count so let's let's do that so for that what I'm going to do is while So I'm going to do request stream dot move next and this will get into and this will make sure that we are moving ahead with the request and then the request stream dot current and you can see this current object is the one which gives the population request so now this will give the population request and from population request we can get the state so we'll go ahead and use the same state provider class that we created earlier and state population provider if you remember it is just a dictionary which contains the state and some hypothetical population against each state and the get method just checks the state and based on that returns the count and if the state is not found it returns zero so for this implementation now we'll get the state count and for state count we are going to use state population provider dot get and here I'm going to pass request dot state but this state count needs to be saved somewhere so that we can do an aggregation of all the count so for that I'm going to create So I'll create a list and here after I get the state population count I can add it to the state populations so once this is done all the state count are added 
now I can return the response and this while loop will break once request stream is ended from the client which is this code when it says complete async will get out of the while at that point in time and here we'll do return and in the return I'm going to say new population response because that's the response and for the count I'm going to say state populations dot sum so this should return the sum of all the populations in the request object so now first let me start the server and once I start the server now you can see that for the server for population provider it says that method type is client streaming instead of unary and the client count provider already had streaming server streaming so we can see that it says client streaming so now that the server is running I'm going to go to the client and run this program and before I do that I'm just going to go to server and put a breakpoint so that we can see how it works just debugging it so I'm going to run the client demo so now the request came to the server and as we can see as we go down once I move next this time the current I can see NJ which was the fast one and then NY and so on and so forth and finally return the sum of the request and you can see here it is 100,000 which is count of 40,000, 30, 20 and 10 so 100,000 here so this is what I wanted to cover today so with this one it concludes the whole gRPC topic starting from building a simple unary application then server stream authentication and now client stream if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you have been getting value out of my channel please subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed to it and thanks so much for watching this